Leon Bibb is a busy man tonight. He joins us again from Parma, one of our Building Better Neighborhood Cities. And Leon has another stop in my Ohio to tell us about tonight. How about it? Indeed I do, and I'm glad to tell you about it, too. You know, the other day I took a trip to Grafton, where a craft as old as humankind is still being practiced there, and practiced with precision, I might add. Woodworking. Their pieces of wood are turned into elegant home furnishings. I like to think in each piece of wood, there is a shape inside, or a use hoping to be cut out by a craftsman who knows the ways of wood. I am not alone in such thought. In Lorraine County, there are sure-handed men of wood. If in your house there is woodwork, what you have came from men like these. I'm building a custom entryway for a home over in Westlake. A place of skilled hands. This is the workshop of elegant wood products in Grafton, Ohio. Here work the men of wood. The company makes all kinds of wood products for homes, cabinets, mantles over fireplaces, doorways. They all require the work of precision-minded woodworkers. I've always liked the grains of woods, and uh, I go through different phases. Sometimes I like walnut. Walnut's really nice, and then hickory's really nice. The wood shop in Grafton has a distinctive smell about it. Sawdust abounds. All that wood waiting for hands to turn it into something more. For 32 years, Elegant Wood Products has had its saw blades cutting. Richard Fishburne began the company. I was born with sawdust in my veins. <laughs> <laughs> a joke, but not far from the truth. He learned early the ways of wood. So skilled he was, for years Fishburne taught high school industrial arts. Here the wood gives. So when he or his handful of employees are working the wood, fashioning something from its grain, there is more than the obvious taking place. What is it about a person working with his or her hands? He can create something that becomes part of him. That dedication draws in customers. They come with their ideas, knowing someone can take what a tree offered and can turn it into something else for someone's benefit. They're going to make some, um, some door jam and uh, some uh, casement for around a couple doorways. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm looking for some bar rail. I need to uh, finish up a bar that I've got going on in the basement. And I want this room is also part of elegant wood, a ballroom which can be rented out, but also a showcase of the kind of woodwork that elegant wood does. It is a room which has seen many events, but look closely, for the room speaks of something more. There are no two aspects of this room which are alike. Pieces of styled wood, but each artistically unique unto itself. Different doors, spindles, archways, you know, different casings around the windows, and, and uh, they get to see the wood displayed. I think the wood talks to men like these. Don't throw away that thought now. George Kazmierczyk knew that when he was in high school. The thought is ingrained in him, too. When you've got sawdust going and that saw blade is just a turning and you're making a cut in the wood, you're in your world, aren't you? Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. I don't know about you, but I love wood. There's something about the feeling that wood gives. Wood is warm and natural. There's something comforting about that. Where the characteristics are so different from one species of wood to another species of wood, and the fantastic beauty and grain in his creation, you just have to say, wow, God. Look closely into the wood and see its grain, its fingerprint. Someone said varnish cannot hide the grain of the wood. The more varnish applied, the more the grain expresses itself. The men of elegant wood products of Grafton know that. Here, the wood grain is coaxed along by men who speak its language, aware the wood talks back. A story from Elegant Wood Products in Grafton. Now a question for me. If I could, would I work with wood? Of course I would. Would not you? I'm Leon Bibb, My Ohio, live on 5.